Hi gorgeous people, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. Um, it's a beautiful day. We bless God for keeping us all alive. So guys, in today's video, I just want to pour out my mind. It will be more of my emotions, you know, speaking. Yeah. So I don't want anyone to take it too personal, especially if you are not an Igbo. Yeah. Don't take it personal, but just try to see reasons in whatever I'm going to say in this video. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. The title of this, I know with the title of this video, um, people that are going to watch this video are mostly um, Nigerians. You all know what has been going on in Nigeria now. Um, they just finished our election and um, Tinubu was um, declared the winner and we all know that he's not the person that actually won the election. Yeah, the masses voted for P2B and nothing. So this has um, brought about so many controversies, many conflict, even tribal war and all that. I just want to say something concerning what I've been reading about this um, particular guy, G. Aruvi. <laughs> Disclaimer, my tongue is trained and familiar to pronounce some certain names. So I'm not perfect in pronouncing some other names. Yeah, so bear with me. I will not be pronouncing the full name. I'll just write it out when I'm editing this video. Because me trying to pronounce some names. names is always a struggle for me so i'm not ready for that now let me not come and embarrass myself or forget the things i want to say in this video okay mm -hmm. if you know you know <laughs> so moving on so this guy that is level party candidate that is coming out for um governorship in lagos state has um brought about so many controversies people you know bashing him and all that but what I don't understand is people coming out to say that he is Igbo. Because he's Igbo, he cannot become the governor of Lagos State. That Lagos is a, a Yoruba land, so therefore an Igbo cannot come and be their governor. Guys, I don't understand though because I'm a Nigerian and I grew up in Nigeria with my own little knowledge. I know that a child is from wherever the father is originated from not where the mother is from this said guy G. Arufi, the mom is Igbo why the dad is Yoruba so how is he not Igbo I don't understand it because I went through some blogs where they posted about the guy and people's comment there as it got me so emotional, got me feeling. I can't even explain my feeling, guys. After going through so many posts, both on Instagram, both on Twitter, and I'm like, what's going on? Why are they saying he's Igbo? I don't understand it. Um, for us Igbos, what I know is you are from wherever your father is coming from. Not where your mother is coming from. Where your mother is coming from is your maternal home. Then, where your father is coming from is your main village. You are an indigenous, as in a bona fide indigenous of wherever your father is coming from. So, I don't know. Maybe I might be wrong because I'm Igbo. If you're Yoruba, let me know. Is it that in your own place, a child is from where his mother is from? I don't understand. You push it. Let me know. Because I don't understand this whole tribal war going on now and another thing that got me feeling so bad is how Yorubas, let me not just generalize it how some Yorubas are just picking on Igbos you need to see just the terrible things some Yorubas were commenting saying about Igbos and I'm like then there is no need Igbos marrying Yorubas at this point, I don't even blame our parents that don't even allow us to marry outside our tribe. I don't blame them. This is one of the reasons. 
So the only crime this guy committed is because the mom is from Igbo. And that automatically disqualifies him from becoming the governor of Lagos State. Is that what you all are telling me? Because the mom is Igbo, not even the dad. Come on. He's still your brother. He's still a Yoruba guy. Because I've been following this um, election and everything that comes with you know, politics this time around. I watch TVC, I watch channels, I watch Arise News. So, I'm um, about last week or so, last two weeks, a certain man came out, a Yoruba man. I'll write out his name because I can't pronounce it as I explained earlier. This is my tongue is trained and is familiar to pronounce some certain names. So, the guy, the man came out, an elderly man, he came out on TVC and was saying that um, GROV, that's um, the Labour Party candidate coming out for um, governor in Lagos State, cannot speak Yoruba. He cannot become a um, Lagos State governor because he cannot speak Yoruba. <laughs> and I'm like, is that now the only criteria for someone to you know um be disqualified or someone to become a governor does that mean that anybody that is coming out as president of nigeria with, with so many tribes must know all the tribe language i don't understand so another thing that surprised me was when he asked one of the hosts if she can go to Kano State and become the governor of Kano State because she was born and raised in Kano State. So why are they expecting someone that is not Yoruba to become the governor of Lagos State? At this point, I just knew that it's all about politics because I don't understand why you are saying this man is not Yoruba. And I'm like, that is a wrong narrative. What are you trying to say? This young man is from Yoruba. And from the research I've met so far, he's even more Yoruba than the present um, governor. Because the present governor is also the APC um, candidate because he's coming out again to complete his turn or to run for another four years because obviously he's been there for four years. And you know, in Nigeria, we just have a um, duration of eight years, you know, before you before you now um, step down from another person. And that doesn't mean that after four years, some other person cannot still come up. Once the person, another person wins, the person can still, you know, take over and become the um, governor. From what I read, I heard this Labour Party candidate, GRV, is more Lagosian than this other candidate because his grandparents are from Lagos State. Unlike um, the present governor who the parents, a big grandparents moved from other states like Oshun State and came and settled in Lagos. Sinibu's dad, that being him himself, came from Oshun State that's where they are originated from before they moved, you know, down to Lagos and now settled in Lagos. So why all this propaganda? Let me just say this whole thing is politics, you know. But the way people are going about it, eh, I'm just like, at this point, there is no need, Hebrews, marrying Europeans. Permit me to say that because the hate is just too much. The hate is so unbearable. I was going through people's comments eh, and I'm like, Jesus. So Yoruba has hate Igbos like this. The truth is, this has been happening over the years because I've seen so many videos of some Yorubas harassing Igbos and Lagos, even to the extent of destroying their shops, burning their markets, so many things, as in so many harassments, you know. Even those coming out openly, telling them to go back to their states and all that. And I used to think it's all about politics. I used to feel it's just um, some Europeans that are not learning, that are not exposed. It's just out of ignorance. But it's so sad to see even the learned ones, even those that are not even in Nigeria, coming out publicly insulting Igbos, telling Igbos and Lagos to leave Lagos State. 
but I have never seen anyone in the East telling Yorubas to leave their land for them. I have never seen that. If you have seen, let me know. Well, let's say it's, it's beginning to look like a seed, a seed of hatred that have been sown in some of these youth about Igbos. Because I don't understand. Igbos are not the only tribe in Lagos State. Lagos State comprises of so many tribes. But why are you people always speaking on Igbos all the time? Why? We have um, Idomas there. We have houses. We have Edos, Eshan, name them. We have um, Lupe. So many other tribes in Lagos State. You will not hear about Yorubas um, maltreating them, harassing them, and all that. But only Igbos. Why? So don't blame me when I say this whole thing is just a seed of hatred. They have been sold in these people's mind against Igbos. Because I don't understand it. Even with this just completed um, election, we saw a video where a man was telling Igbos that came to vote that they should not try and vote um, Labour Party. That if they want to vote for Labour Party, they should go back to their state. They should go back to their state and vote for Labour Party. You can imagine. So many other videos have come across about um, Yorubas harassing and maltreating Igbos. I also heard that even in Lagos now, if you are Igbo and they are going to look for a job, they will not give you in some organizations. They will not give you because they are Igbo. So the tribalism is just so much. Why I don't want to generalize it and say it's tribalism in Nigeria is because this same thing doesn't happen to other tribes. These Yoruba people don't treat other tribes the same way they treat Igbos. So that's why I don't understand this level of hatred for Igbos. And yet, every day Yorubas marry Igbos and Igbos marry Yorubas. So what's the need? Since a guy that came out to be a governor cannot become a governor because the mom is from Igbo. And yet tomorrow someone from Ibo Unaga and marry Yoruba, or someone from Yoruba and Unaga and marry Ibo. What's the need? So that means um, he is not a full Yoruba because the mom is Ibo. So he's not a full Yoruba. I don't understand that. You people should as in, make me understand this whole thing. And another thing I want to state is this Ibos are not the only ones that voted Pido before Christ's sake. There are other tribes. Even some Yorubas voted Pitobi because they saw something that they never saw in other candidates. So it's not about tribe for Christ's sake. After all, we all are one. We are one Nigeria. As I am here now, if I should commit any crime or anything, what they will say is she's a Nigerian. They will not ask me if I'm Igbo or if I'm Hausa or if I'm Yoruba. So we are fighting for the betterment of our country, Nigeria, and not us fighting against ourselves. It's so sad that these people, these politicians, are just using young youths to achieve their own selfish interests. It's so sad that these young youths made themselves available for these evil people to use. He said the force to come together as a force and fight against them for a better Nigeria. We are now channeling the energy to fighting ourselves. It's so sad. Shame on to you if you have made yourself available for these wicked people to use you to cause pain on innocent people out there, all in the name of politics. All in the name of tribalism. We all are one. Say no to tribalism. We that are abroad looking for greener pastures are complaining that we are facing racism here. And people back home are also crying and suffering great pain because of tribalism. Shame unto you and woe betide you if you are among those going about destroying people's shops 
burning people's shops, harassing people out there. Shame on to you. Because of recent, I just watched a video of a particular um, market where Igbos um, have a lot of shops and have a lot of businesses that just got burnt. And with what I read, they said is APC people. I don't know the actual people that burnt the market, but shame and woe betide you if you are among those that are causing this great pain on innocent people just because of your own selfish gain, just because of peanuts that they will give you. Woe betide you. Shame unto you. It's really painful and so heartbreaking. You cannot imagine the pain those people will be going through now. People are not coming to take away Lagos from you guys for Christ's sake. They are just there to earn a living. They are just there to hustle. They are just there for greener pasture, just like most Nigerians leave Nigeria to other countries for greener pastures and to earn a living. We are not taking Lagos away from you guys for Christ's sake. Stop all this propaganda. Stop all this hate. Stop all this bitterness. Let's all come together. We are one. Ask yourself, what if you are evil? What if you are evil? What if your parents gave birth to you and they said you are evil and you find yourself as an evil person? Will you kill yourself? Are you the one that created yourself? Are you the one that made yourself Yoruba that you are? Or are you the one that made yourself Igbo that you are? No. Or the Hausa that you are? No. Why fight people? Why destroy their shops? Why do this to them? Why? Why? What kind of wickedness is this? Channel this energy into fighting bad government in Nigeria. Let's come together and channel this whole energy into making Nigeria a better place for all of us. Hunger no no Hausa, you no know, no Igbo, you no know, no Edo, you no know, no Yoruba. Hardship no know anybody tribe. It will affect everybody. It will affect both Dick and Harry. So it's better we come together and fight against bad government than fighting ourselves. That's my own. Guys, let me know your own thoughts at the comment section. I don't want to go for that because I don't want to start getting emotional. Because guys, honestly, all the things I read there, that day, I was just, I was just feeling terrible about being evil. After going through some people's comments. But you know what? Nobody can create him or herself. It's only God that knows why he decided to make this person Igbo, make this person house, and make this person Igbo, make this person Yoruba. So that is one thing I want you all to know. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let me know your thoughts at the comment section. I apologize if this video in any way offends you, but I'm just trying to speak my mind and, you know, just trying to be plain. And again, please, if you're in Lagos, I urge you to go out this um, comment Saturday and vote for GRV. Yeah, the man with integrity. I have heard him talk and I believe he has a great plan for Lagos. And again, if you don't believe in him, feel free to vote your candidate. You know, I'm not forcing you to vote him. Um, and the party is Labour Party. Yes, Papa Mama Piki. So I'll be signing. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys, and see you all in my next week. Bye.